Hey everyone, Still Cat 2 here. Welcome back to more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we got the Triple S license, and in this episode, we are going to cover a few last things before setting out for World 3, Area 3. <coughs> Who called the Quizmaster? Who called the Quizmaster? It's quiz time, come on, do it. Cha cha cha. You call me Quizmaster. Show me your knowledge. Answer my 10 questions correctly, and you win a luxurious prize. Now, are you ready? Gate key C, and an HP memory. That's one of a few, <coughs> that's one of three that we were missing before, and now we have it. Finally, you remember that programming expert that gave us directions to the change batch? Did you give Did you give a note date? Thank you. Here's your reward. Gate key A. With these two gate keys, we can get to Natopia Square and and Den, and Den Square from Land's computer. So let's go try them out. But wait! I thought there was somebody over here I could talk to. Hmm. Might be thinking of the wrong game. I'm probably thinking of the wrong game. That being said, let's jack into Lance's PC. Or his iMac, rather. <laughs> we now get to Met Square anytime we want. I don't think we have either of those. I don't have a hammer Z. I don't seem to have wood R S. Um hmm.
the last HP memory in the game, and it's been here the whole time. What? Here he is, guys. Pharaoh Man 3. Uh, let's do this thing. Ack. I am not going to S rank him like that. Nope. What? Okay, once more with feeling. Okay, not quite an S rank, but it'll have to do. I'm happy. Whoops, uh, I seem to have accidentally encountered Napalm Man. Uh, let's go! This isn't working very well. Come on! There's something useful here. There we go, something useful. And that's how you take care of the palm man. Now, let's do what we actually came here to do. <laughs> and that is Explore World 3 Area 3. Oops. Here we are, back in World 3 Area 3. Let's get started with this stuff. Full custom! Well, I'm gonna be saving our game a lot here because I have no clue when we're gonna come across a Protective 3 or something like that. Protect 4, Protective 2. Once I know approximately where each of them is. <laughs> We'll be switching to the awesome folder that has time bomb that has time bomb plus in it. Oops. Let's go. Okay, this was not predicted. Um Scuttleist, it is the strongest form of the miniature life virus. Thingy, and they shoot hyper beams at you. 
I would just recommend trying to run whenever you can. I think they might drop the Life Aura 2 chip, but I'm not sure. Now, anyway, what we came here to do is fight these guys. So, fight them we shall. You can defend against their explosion with shield styles to give you a bit of extra time. But only if your timing is good. My timing is not. That could have gotten very ugly very easily. I just recommend running from these scuttless viruses because you can't really easily penetrate their life aura too. So just don't even bother. For now anyway. Bug frag. That's it. It's a virus in disguise. It would appear that we have wandered off in the right direction. Okay. We're going to have to cut that aura with the Life Sword 3. That's just fine. As long as he doesn't throw the aura back. That would be bad. But no, we got him. We got an HP max, too. Triple S license cube. Sub memory! Sweet. Protecto threes. You can see what we need what we're gonna need here. We are going to need an attack plus twenty. Or an attack plus 30. And combine that with Life Bar with Life Sword 3. That didn't take too long. I believe that is the only pair of the set of protective threes in the game, so we should be good to go now. See what's in here. You going to bed? Yeah. 
anti navi x awesome it sets a trap for anybody who wants to use a navi chip so it is only useful in a versus battle but that's fine anyway as you can see there is a dead end behind this door so what the heck we are going to investigate in the next episode this is silly cat 2 and i'll be seeing you later